We are back, Pina Gallery, what is this? So Black Label Pro um, is going on hiatus for some reason. So I have never heard of the company. In my yeah, life. I've never heard of the company before either. But the fact that they have names on there, like, you know, uh, whatever it is, whatever. Jinder Mahal. Yeah, Jinder Mahal, whatever his free name is. Billy Star. <clears throat> yeah. So um, apparently for, for whatever reason, they are going on hiatus. Um, they had an event scheduled. I believe they had it scheduled in November, um, but they are they canceled all of their events. Like huh. they've already been selling tickets and everything, and now they're just going on hiatus. Interesting. Yeah, and um, it, the uh, the promotion was founded in 2017. I wanted to bring this up because there were a lot the. Indie promotion has been seeing a lot of success in recent years. So this is kind of a uncommon, like, not, not an L, but it's, it's, it's kind of like, oh, I guess. I it, wonder if there's something more to it other yeah. than just monetary issues. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that as well. Um, the, the person who runs the company stated that they were mentally exhausted for whatever that means. But that's just the nature of the business. So <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, I mean, like I said, it may not be monetary. I mean, the person can do whatever they want with yeah. their company. If they, but it's if just they, kind of weird that they had already planned events and sold tickets. And if they're doing financially well, then they should be able to run those events without I mean, a problem. Not necessarily. It, it, it might it might actually be a burnout issue. Yeah. Maybe they just got a little tired. I mean, it takes a lot to run a wrestling company. But again, you shouldn't do that. While you're actively selling tickets, like you I mean, it could have it could have just broke. I mean, he could, he could have just snapped and said, "You know what? I can't stress this enough." Now, uh, maybe they were running into issues where it's just like, "Okay, you know what? I'm gonna refund everybody. I'm done with this." Maybe you know, it's it's just kind of weird how that just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, they, I, I don't think. I mean, I'm not sure how good Black Label Pro was doing exactly. I'm, I'm, I don't follow them at I'm all. I'm not sure either, but obviously, oh yeah. So going on, obviously we've all seen this. Uh, Delta. This is Delta. She's coming on 1027, which is what you see on the sign. Yeah. Which is the same day as Halloween Havoc. Yes. So expect that to happen. Yep. Yay, more new women in the women's division. And her union, her style is very much a Halloween-y tape thing, yep. so we should be okay with that. Yep. Uh, so AEW, they're, they are seeking a new partner, supposedly. It's just a report, but they are supposedly seeking a new partner for their video games. They're going to try to do that again? Yeah, I think Ugh. they are. But obviously, Ukes dropped the big L because Fight Forever was absolute garbage. It was really bad. Um, I mean, that, that, I, I think that really hurt AEW mm -hmm. more than anything. I think so, too, because it's like you have this, you have obviously world class roster of talent and they want to play as these but wwe 2k they're just making their wrestlers on wwe 2k and playing there you know right. i mean you can go to wwe 2k's um mod website whatever that is their ecosystem and find every single AEW wrestler they had a very unique idea with that stadium stampede thing like the mm -hmm. battle royal type um action yeah but they implemented that in fight forever later yep which was super weird yeah uh, but this was a mitigated disaster, and the fact that they mm -hmm. think they're going to do another video game is laughable because that was it, it's just I don't know if they're you know again i'm I'm no expert, but they obviously chose the wrong partner for their video. There's game a reason division. why WWE is not using yeah. Ukes anymore right I didn't even know Ukes still existed. I didn't know they still existed either so. <sighs> The Costco uh, guys, the Costco yeah. brothers, I don't know. So it's, it's a father and son. Uh, well, supposedly. I don't even know if it's a father and son because um, remember, oh, God, who was it that we talked? They they were involved in another controversy. Oh, that was Scott Schaefer. Scott Schaefer apologized because he wasn't aware that it was actually not a father and son team. I think it's like an uncle nephew team or something along those lines. AJ AJ Justice, the big moron, because apparently they're so desperate on anybody with a clue. Like I don't even know why the Costco guys got. Po Can we stop making people who do dumb shit popular? Seriously. Right. Uh, I mean, good for them of building the brand around it, just like the hot tub bitch who now is suing the person who 
uh, interviewed her with that infamous thing, by the way. Mm -hmm. But he has a match. Yeah, he has like a one match deal. This is literally this is stupid. No, I mean, this this is the antithesis of what AEW is supposed to be. Oh yeah, they are supposed to be real wrestling. Yeah, right? this this is the literal, honest to god, paint by numbers antithesis. And I, the only the only reason they're doing this is because I'm sure that they saw the success of someone like Logan Paul doing moves you know if, like if I'm, if, making moves but logan paul is legitimately like a like a pro athlete you right know? Like, now to what i've i what i have heard is that the big guy actually did train a little bit as a wrestler eons ago but that's not and, gonna and, make much of a well, difference well currently right now he is being trained by sanjay dutt so it's not like he's not gonna be getting some Maybe. good training uh we'll see where it goes i mean yeah. sanjay has He's a great trainer, so mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily worried. But they might be able to smoke and mirrors this. Maybe. But once again, it's the antithesis of what but, it's supposed yeah. to be. AEW is not supposed to have this kind of yeah. This stuff. this is a, yeah. This is supposed to be the WWE stuff. This right. is why people got away from it, right? Mm -hmm. But now you're doing it. It's it's silly. It's ridiculous. It so um, this sucks. I I don't know if you've heard, but Kill Switch was hospitalized because he had pneumonia in both of his lungs. I know what. How in the hell did he do that? You know, I don't, I don't know, but it was a pretty serious thing. Like he was, he was on breathing machine, like not a ventilator, but he had like assisted breathing, like he had a you know breathing mask and stuff like that. Good but, lord. Uh, yeah, pretty. Is pretty, he is he out of the hospital? I don't know off the top of my head if he's out of the hospital yet. Last I heard, he was still in the hospital. Um, but yeah, the pretty big scare. That's that's really mm -hmm. bad. I mean, pneumonia still kills people, and he had it in both of his lungs. Yeah, that could, both lungs. That could easily killed him he could he could be out of wrestling period if he if he can't get back pneumonia damages yeah it does it's a very damaging uh, yeah condition to have yeah but, um that sucks so matt cardona for whatever reason thinks that he is shocked that he hasn't received offers from either the wwe or AEW. i'm not i'm not either it wasn't. It wasn't his whole shtick like indies. Like he wanted to be the indie guy. Yeah, he's he's, or... he's the king of the indies. Right. I think it's because he's like I. I think it's not necessarily that he would accept. I mean, he wants to retire in WWE. He yeah. stated that, but I, I just don't know where he would fit. Right. He doesn't. He he wouldn't really wouldn't have a place. Like what I could easily see him being is maybe a more of a veteran figure on the NXT scene. Um, and it would make sense, obviously, for him to go to the WWE, considering his spouse worked for the WWE. Right. I think he's fine doing what he's doing. I'm, I don't know why he would be shocked that nobody's given him an offer. I mean, obviously, AEW's been throwing around money left, right, and center. Yeah. And WWE is, I think, really more so focused on the NIL people. And mm -hmm. maybe some... And I think, I think that's maybe, part of the maybe, reason, too, is And maybe that... some standouts. But Cardona is great about reinvention and mm -hmm. having multiple gimmicks and juggling that. You know, his GCW is the king of the death match, and then everywhere else he's the king of the indies, mm -hmm. and then in TNA he's doing something else. He would be a valuable asset to maybe the next generation. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's that's honestly the only place I could see him. Otherwise, I don't see him fitting in anywhere, really. Mm -mm. I mean, maybe on SmackDown. I mean, that would be the most logical place for him to go on the main roster. I feel like he would get lost in the shuffle in the AW. Yep. Uh, and then with WWE, like I said, I think... Uh, doing the NXT stuff, maybe twilight of your career, you get one more big good run, right? Another WrestleMania moment, but I, I, I don't see Cardona as big stage wrestler. I, no. I think he, I think he's a more valuable asset on the indie scene. Yeah, he's but, probably making more money there too. Well, he'd make more money going to the WWE. Well, he said he's making more money doing the indie stuff. I'm sure he, pay, I'm sure. I mean, keep in mind, he's doing the books himself. That's true. He can pace himself on that. Yeah. I mean, Dijak. I just posted something that he hasn't been this busy ever in wrestling. Hmm. And he's like, I can have my own schedule. It's like, yeah. right now, Indies are great if you mm -hmm. know how to rate yourself. Riddle's doing the same thing. Yeah, It's like, I'm sure Riddle's doing fine. He's doing other projects, yep. too. Uh, Cardone shouldn't necessarily complain about it. No, Hell, I would be I, I think I think he's just like, well, I'm surprised I haven't received an offer yet. Because maybe he thought he was a bigger deal than he actually you know, I think, I think, I think he's be. a big deal. Maybe they're just not 
focused on him right I now. just don't think there's any appetite for him at the moment. Right. I think that's what he's most shocked about. Maybe maybe later. Yeah. I mean, they needed Chelsea Green more they needed a Matt Cardona at that yeah. point, I guess. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I guess. So um, this was here because I want to talk about the media rights. So obviously, big biggest news in AEW this year pretty much has been media rights uh, negotiations. So a couple of things that are interesting to me. So there's no mention of Rampage, number one. I think with, it's with SmackDown going to three hours, possibly, I think that they're probably going to drop Rampage. Yep. There are also uh, possibilities that Ring of Honor might go to True TV. Okay. That'd which be interesting. would be an interesting place for it. Um, I know that uh, Tony Khan was very interested in getting more Ring of Honor rights included. I, I know. And then, a- and then streaming all the archives for Dynamite, Rampage, and Collision are going to be on the Max app starting in 2025. And they're going to be streaming the new episodes on there as well. Yeah, they are. Yes. So it's going to be simulcast on the stream. Well, I mean, uh, it's, it's only going to be for Dynamite and Collision. Right. I, uh, Rampage and again, Ring of Honor is on Again, we don't know about Rampage or Ring of Honor on television. And then later on in the year, there's a possibility that they're going to start offering pay-per-views at a discounted rates. No, that's that's been confirmed that they're going to be doing the pay-per-views at discounted rates. But that's rates. not until later on in 2025. Yes, I'm aware. Um, the other thing, too, is that Bleacher Report, as we had discussed, is being absorbed into the ecosystem of more of, of uh, Discovery um, Discovery's products. So yeah. that's part of the... I think that's a big reason why they're starting to stream on... I think oh, I, I, I think but, I think them being on Max is a great idea, one hundred percent, because they're putting in a lot of investment into Max as mm-hmm. a viable property uh, to compete with Peacock mm-hmm. and Disney. And then Plus. the other thing we discussed this a couple weeks ago as well uh, is that uh, um, Warner Brother Discovery is also part of a new super sports app that includes Fox. Yeah, I think it's called FEMU or something. Yeah. We, we talked we talked about it a couple of weeks we ago. Yeah, we did, and so if. There's a possibility that they could be on that as well, but obviously nothing has been confirmed about that. Right. But yes, they finally we can finally put the rumors to rest that they it's, are. It's only it's only three years. I yes. think that three years is like you better turn this fucking ship around. That's what I'm thinking because I, I'm sure they're <laughs> not thrilled about this drop because that's not good. No, I, I think it's more than their initial contract was though, but less less time. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. So Shelton Benjamin debuted. He got a good pop. He I'm did. happy about that. Um, people need to realize that this is not the Sheldon Benjamin of 2004. No, he's not like the super athlete that he was in 2004. Uh, he was not, uh, obviously, the, the rumor mill is going around that Bobby Lashley is going to sign. sign with AEW, which has not yet been confirmed, but is heavily, heavily, heavily implied. Right. Uh, the only the only person that returned though, Jay White also returned on AEW, which is good. They need uh, mm-hmm. uh well, they they butchered Jay White to hell. Oh but. yeah, they butchered any anyone that came over from New Japan Pro Wrestling besides maybe Kenny Omega was just butchered. To and hell. well, then the Young Bucks, right? Well, but the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega started the fucking company. They did. So, so there we have that. <laughs> Sammy Guevara was was um. Uh, during during Ring of Honor match, obviously, as you can see, he was wheeled off in a stretcher. So there were two. Yeah, there were two. He wasn't the only one. I think the other one was. Uh, it was um. There was a match with Lady Frost yes, and a right. girl, and she was also stretchered. Out. Not not Lady Frost, but the other. Person. Yes, yes, Lady Frost injured her. Um, and then the other one, Sam Guevara. Now, I think the Sam Guevara one was. Just a concussion, yes. I think. So it wasn't anything serious, but he. Well, a, a concussion is serious. Well, but it it's, is. it's not like he's paralyzed. It's not right. It's not like he's paralyzed. I mean, he's he's fine. <laughs> well, if, if he was paralyzed, rel, rel, con, concussion is yeah. relative. Yeah, relative. Fine. It's, it's relative. <laughs> um, and then AJ Styles also seemingly injured himself on Friday. I don't have a picture for it, but that was also just a. Uh, that was just a. I think it was either a storyline or it was just a scare. I think it was. I think it's a sprain. I I believe. I believe the injury is IRL. I have no idea why they would fake that on his return. That'd be super weird. But I. I mean, it, that sucks mm-hmm. because they lost Ilya Dragunov for six to eight months mm-hmm. because he tore his ACL with the two injuries that were very so serious that they had to go out on a stretcher. Now with Styles, 
at the very least, he had the ability to walk mm -hmm. out. So it could be a scare. It could be a sprain. It's not fun. No. The referee had to stop the match. And you could tell that they really mm -hmm. wanted to continue because Styles continued to wrestle. Mm -hmm. But I think the pain and, you know, at the same time, you have to think about people's safety. Mm -hmm. If you are hurt on your leg, how are you going to trust somebody to take your body and throw it yep. over their body right. if they collapse you land on your head yep and i know that uh koto bushi also had to pull out of some dates as well i don't know why and he has just had a rough 2020s like, i know like a rough first half of this decade he's been plagued with injury after injury after health scare after injury yep i mean he, the man cannot catch up right and he started out really strong by he winning did. both iwgp yep. and intercontinental champions he was he was the face of the company yep I think he was the face of the company a lot, really throughout the pandemic. Yeah, like the early days, yep. especially. But yeah, I mean, just it, it AEW sucks. just can't get off of this injury bug, man. I know. Well, then at WWE, the two. I mean, yeah. Ilya, Ilya sucks because they were really building some stuff around him. Yeah. And then with Styles, I'm not sure how severe it is. I don't. I don't know that it's all that severe, but no. I guess we'll see. Maybe, maybe right? a couple of weeks. Yeah. Motor City Machine Guns confirmed to be going to SmackDown. Well, this, I mean, if, of every technicality other than the name, you see Motor City. It's, or, it's the guns. It's going to be Alex Shelley and Chris Saban. Chris Saban. And honestly, they kind of need it. So yes. that is good to know they're, they are going to SmackDown they're, instead they're, of... Because they, they were... Everyone said they were going to NXT. Yep. But hey, I guess the main roster needs them a little bit too. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, yes, they are veterans, but do we really need to put them on NXT? It's not like they changed styles. Right. In fact, they trained a lot of the wrestlers that are in WWE right now. Right. So uh, I don't think we need to retrain Alex Shelley and Chris Saban no. to wrestle the American style. They've been doing it for a minute. Yeah, they have been. <laughs> but that's all I've got. Yep. So when we come back, we're going to talk about the good and the bad of bad blood.